Hi everyone, it's Bobby, and I am sharing my first Craftology box tutorial. This is the first time I've done this for Tammy, and it was so much fun. And I'm not normally a Halloween person, I have to admit that. And probably, I used to be, you know, but my kids are all grown now, so I don't really get too enthused about it. But this was really fun. This paper is so awesome. This is the, um, oh, what did I say the name of it was? Wait a minute, I'll tell you here real quick. I always forget the name of them. It is Twilight. I always have to look and see. There's so many different patterns I work with, and I, I forget which one I currently have. But this one is Twilight by Authentique. I love this spider paper, and the oranges are so pretty in this package. So um, I had a stamp set with these little images. I couldn't find anything um, that I liked for the cover. I tried some uh, free graphics, which I was going to give you a link, but they were so pixelated they wouldn't really copy very well. So I took a stamp set that I had in my stash, and I stamped these images out and I scanned them into my computer, then I printed them out. I had to enlarge them a little bit because they were really small. And I enlarged them and then made this little collage of like the spider and the web, the bats, and this old craggy tree. And then these two little headstones, I uh, used an oval die and just cut them flat at the bottom. So that's how I got that. So I have a little magnetic hinge here and I've just wrapped it with a stripe so it opens this way and I just have a little pouch over here and it's held with a magnet these little letters I had in my stash so I just added boo there and it opens this way and in the bottom part there are two inserts uh, these are from the paper collection it says pumpkins and costumes and I just made a little faux pocket here Let me make sure I'm still in frame. Yes. I want to make sure you can see it all. And then I just have two little flaps here that hold. And you can add so much more in here. I have one little photo mat that I made with a die that's in my stash. And I just cut it out, cut it in half, and used it for my topper. And then I made a little photo insert. And I've just used some of the scraps of paper and one of the punch outs that says turn back and then it goes that way and that's it for that one and you can get a lot more in here and then on the top part I have a little pocket and I put some inserts in here this one is from the cut apart sheet it has a pumpkin and a witch on it this one says when witches go Riding and black cats are seen, the moon laughs and whispers, it's near Halloween. <laughs> and then I made a little tag just out of some cream colored um, artisan and this little witch die came from um, Butterbee Scraps. And I used some of Tammy's ribbon and twine for that. So those go in there. That closes with a magnet. Then on the right hand side, I have a corner pocket. Let me lift this up a little bit. See if it anything will stay there, I don't think. And on the top of the corner pocket, I just have a little envelope um, paper clip. And these little folders open, and you can add photos in there. Whoops. And this one does the same way. It's open. You can put a photo in there. And then inside the pocket, I have this little folder that I made. I love making little small folders. And this is from the cut apart sheet and uh, some glitter paper I had in my stash. And it opens this way. Photo mat here. Another one here with another spider. Two photo mats there. A nice good size four to six there. And then it opens this way for three more photos. 
and I just put design paper on the back. So that's my little Halloween folder. I thought that would be such a cute way to save your pictures of your trick-or-treaters. Okay, I hope you enjoy it. I um, love to hear your comments, and I will see you with my next project. I have another uh, piece to show you from the Craftology box. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye. Uh, for this project, you're going to need, and don't worry about writing all these measurements down because I'll have a cut list uh, in the description box for you. But you will need two pieces of medium weight chipboard that are 9 by 7. So it's 9 this way, 7 this way, and a 1 inch piece by 9 for your spine. And I just cut cardstock to make my little closure. I went ahead and wrapped it to save time. Most of you know how to do that. If you don't, I have a tutorial on my channel showing you how I, <clears throat> excuse me, how I wrap my chipboard covers. Then on the front, I have laid down my base paper. I have put down uh, two strips on a strip on either side of the stripe that came with the collection. This is called Twilight by Authentique, by the way. Then I used the spider paper down the center with just a little tiny strip of orange just to break it up. I have the same thing on the spine, and I haven't done anything to the back yet. This little closure piece is three inches wide and four long, and I've just put papers on it so far. I did remember my magnet. I typically forget that sometimes. And then I have to come up with a way to hide my magnet. So, what we're going to do today is build the inside. Really, really easy to do. Let me grab my bottle of glue here. Okay, so I have uh, my base paper here. And I just felt like it needed something extra to break it away from the black. So, I dug through my stash and I found this orange cardstock because there, there weren't any solids in this collection and I felt like I needed it. So I double matted these pages and just leaving a tiny border of the orange all the way around like that. So I'm going to put those down with the art glitter glue. to make sure it gets to the corners because I don't want it coming up. I still have quite a bit of uh, solid cardstock in my stash so every once in a while I pull from it if I feel like I need something. But I typically only buy the artisan now because that's my favorite. Okay, so we're going to put this one down. Oops. Make sure my corners are down good and tight. No glue hanging out. This one will go down. Oh, that's cute too. But I'm going to use this one. Because I like that spider paper. And I'm not typically a Halloween person, but this paper is so cute. Seems like Authentique just gets better every year. I think all of them do though. Or maybe it's that we get better every year. Who knows? And then for the other side, I have the spider paper again. <laughs> this is just a really neat collection. A lot of bright colors in it. Make sure I frame 
hope I am. Small area to work in here. all of these in um, memento black. I normally use the black suit uh, Tim Holtz but I think mine is kind of dry and until I can go get another one I've been using the memento and I do really like it. It gives you a really good crisp black edge. Gets rid of all that white edge on the paper. And here's our spider side of the book. Now, on this side I'm going to have a corner pocket. And it is, <clears throat> excuse me, six and three quarters by seven and three quarters. And it's scored at a half inch on the two lower sides. Then I measured over an inch and a half on the top right with this folded under. Make a tick mark at one and a half and then the bottom also folded under at two inches and then just cut it off. Now when I cut out the design papers I layered all three of these together. And I cut them once so that I had the same angle on all of them. will go down next. such bright pretty colors in it. And this I thought would just be a really neat way to save your Halloween memories in a small little folder instead of a big project. Um, I know a lot of people have large families. I don't so it's it's hard for me to think of having a hundred or two hundred photos in an album. Exactly right, but it's close enough that it will work. Okay, and then we're going. 
going to go to the other side. And then we have a top flap that is six and three quarters by five and a quarter. And it's going to sit just below the orange edge. And I am going to taper these just to make sure I don't have any overhang, which I shouldn't have, but just in case it never hurts to be safe. inside the orange edge. So we've still got our border of orange. Make sure it's straight. piece is six and three quarters by five and three quarters and I'll we'll taper it as well and I'm going to put a magnet on it inside the orange again and matching it up with the top piece and a negative. Oops. think should be okay. And I need a piece of score tape. Oops. Scissors, there you are. I hope that's not too close to the edge. over that other magnet. Make sure it stays put. Okay, so on the bottom I'm going to add the orange and this piece. And we'll have other things to add on as we go along, but for right now I just want to get the base pages down. I like to put a little glue on there to, so it doesn't grab it too quick. I get it straight. 
because that stuff grabs pretty quick. And that looks good. And you have the design paper. that one. Now on the top piece we have orange again. Orange is just basically on the, the main mats just so that all this black in the print doesn't melt into the black artisan. which is on the back side of the border paper that we just used. That's your basic construction. Nice and easy, isn't it? Then underneath, I have this paper cut. Get this off. I'm going to take a break in a minute. It's getting really hot in here, and I try to record with my window unit off in here because it makes it. It's not horribly loud, but it's obvious, and I try to turn it off, but it, it heats up in here because it's hot in Texas to start with. Oh, come on, glue. Don't pull this number on me today. <coughs> now it's going to stick to me. There we go. Well, it's got something caught in the neck of that bottle because it keeps doing that. I have to take the tip off and run it under some hot water. All right, I've had it with it. Let me take a little break here, and I'll go work on this glue tip. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, I think I got it working now. Let me squirt out a little bit and make sure I don't have any water in that tip. I tried to make sure I cleaned it out good. Yeah, that looks good. No water. Okay. So what I want to do is put a little ribbon on here. I'm going to attach to this um, score tape. And I want to put another piece between the layers, just a little piece to make sure it stays folded right. It kind of helps people that that aren't used to the albums know when there's a flap and where to lift it at if you add a tab or a ribbon or something. A lot of times people don't realize that they're supposed to open a certain part. And then again, they might try to open a part they're not supposed to and tear something. this down.
should have put that down first, shouldn't I? But I didn't. I'll get a piece of trim and put there. And this little pocket is just like for a tag on a miter, but I don't go all the way to the corner because I don't want to obscure my corner. And it's going to be glued on both sides. And it's just like for the size of a small tag where you could make notes or stick a small picture on a tag. Just a little bit of glue on the bottom. And it's going to sit right here. Just like that. Okay. And this piece <coughs> is going to be the skull and crossbones. How evil can you be? Let me move it up where y'all can see. corner pockets and I cut two little strips of orange just to kind of offset them and these I just cut let me get a measurement on it for you since I don't have a, a backing piece it is with the it would be four and a quarter by four and a half. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta count the four and three quarters by four and a half. That way it leaves you a half inch to turn under <clears throat> on each side. And I'm going to miter this edge so I can glue it up underneath. Might need to cut it more. I just want a little orange border on there. Like that. Might be too long yet. Yeah, just a little bit too long. Let's see if that'll fit under there. That's all I need. Just enough to give me a little border. And we'll scoot it up under there. There we go. there and cut one for this little side Go. 
glue this one down. Like that, and we have a crisscross pocket, and we can put embellishments or photos in there. Oops, make sure I get it lined up. side. pocket. And that'll close this way and this way. <coughs> okay. Now for the inside, I cut four little bumpers. And they are four and a half by one and a half. And I just got to cut some scraps to embellish them with. And they will hold any inserts down. And we're going to put the bones on the other side. Actually, I want the spider web. spider web. <coughs> okay, so we can fold these. And burnish them. And they'll sit just inside the orange area as well. And this will keep any embellishments that you have from falling out keep everything contained. So 
there's that one. Okay, now I'm going to cut four little strips because I should have actually put this up underneath the other. But it's okay, I can fix it anyway. There's always a way to fix something. Then I'll make some embellishments or get my pieces cut out and I'll be back with you. Alright. Okay, here's where we're at. <clears throat> you have done these. I had these little letters in my stash, boo, and I just glued those on there. I left them neutral so that they would stand out against the black, black background. Put my ink pad together. And then on the inside I just added strips to cover up that black and I think that looks just fine. So we have room in here for plenty of embellishments, photo mats. I did make one tag for here. I had a bunch of these in my stash that came in um, uh, one of the, um, the boxes that Tammy has every few months when she uh, cleans out all her old stock and she has the mystery boxes, I think she calls them. So I used one of those here and I just put a strip at the bo bottom and top and this is open for either photos or a uh, journal. And I tied one of the little <clears throat> uh, charms. Uh, it's a Butterbee Scraps charm and it came with my kit. And then I just put orange on the back. And there's plenty of room in here to make some more embellishments. Uh, on this side, I also pulled something out of my stash. These little file folders. I don't know who they're made by. I've had them in my stash forever. They're just little manila file folders. And there's a whole package of them. And I just um, covered two of them with the design paper. And I'll make an embellishment with this uh, paper clip to hold them down and put little small photo mats or embellishments in there and then we have this huge pocket yet to fill and the front I have not done any more to I wish this was smaller I hate that I'm going to tuck the ribbon underneath I don't like it hanging out like that uh, what I have in mind I had these letters too it says eek I don't know that I'll use them but um, what I want to do to the front is um, this collection didn't come with um, any ephemera or anything like that. And what I want to do is I want to put a tree on the front. And I found these free online graphics. This tree and a, a witch, some bats, this spider web, and I wanted to make... Um, um, collage of things here on the front with those and I'm going to cut them out with my uh, scan and cut so that's what I'm going to do for the front but um, I don't have enough room where I can leave the scan and cut out all the time so I have to clear everything off of this work table set up the scan and cut cut out what I want and then put it away and get all this back out so it'll be a little while but I will get back and show you the finished project uh, those are free graphics, and I'll um, I'll look up the site, and I'll leave a link for you in the description box. So, in case you want to do the same thing, it'll save you time looking for them. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll be back with the finished project before too long. Bye. Okay, this morning I am making my inserts and embellishments for this Craftology box album, and I've had a lot, uh, quite a few people comment on previous videos that they would like to uh, have a tutorial on how I make my inserts. So what I need to make today whoops, is inserts that will go inside this little area here in this pocket and then in this 
flap over here. And I also need to make embellishments for these little paper clips here to hold these down. So I'll show you what I do. Uh, quite often you won't see two embellishments just alike because I save all my scraps and that's typically what I use. So here are some that I have laid out and these are all with scraps and I have white cardstock I uh, just put in there to give me an idea of where I want to position things. So I just take my scraps and like this one it will be a flap and this one will flap up and then there will be a photo mat and I'll embellish them, uh, fill them in with other papers and then there will be photo mats in here so that will make a little booklet that will go really nice in that corner pocket. Then on this one, this one's quite a bit smaller, is just going to have, have paper clips everywhere. This one is going to have two photo mats and it'll be attached with this hinge. There will be a place for a large photo mat here and a little pocket down here and then I can insert something in the pocket to hold it all closed. So that'll be that one. If I don't paper clip them together I forget where I was. Put these here. Okay this one will look like a little booklet with a little belly band closure and it's going to have three little folders or three photo mats that is. This one is another booklet style with a tab and these are all just little scraps and it will be like that and then this one will have two flaps and I, if you want measurements I'll give you measurements but like I said quite often you'll never see two exactly alike for me because of the fact that I use all my scraps so what I'm going to do at this point is uh, go through my scraps from the Halloween collection and I've got <clears throat> some in a bag here and I've got more laying over on my desk that I want to go through and I'll cut my pieces uh, like I want to put them down and then I'll show you as I put them together alright I'll be back with you shortly alright guys I have gone through all my little scrap pieces and I've picked out what I want to use on this this first little booklet embellishment whatever we want to call it. So I'm going to lay my pieces aside. I have inked them with Memento Black. Let me get all my little pieces out of here. So the first thing I want to do is attach this front flap here. So I'm going to do that with a little art glitter glue and I want to just put it sort of middle ways just kind of eyeball it over my oh that score line doesn't matter I was going to say it's over my score line but it doesn't matter because that's an old score line that I'm not using anymore it's going to be covered up oops because I use scraps and did I not get enough glue on it put this little flap here 
and I'm going to attach it to the back, but let it come over the front. So I want it to be about like so, and I'm going to put a magnet in this one. Just because there's so many little flippity doodahs. So I want this one to be on the top, so I always have trouble with these little adhesive thingies, so I'm going to put that one right there, a piece of score tape to make sure it stays put. for the other one. What did I do with it? <laughs> it found me. <laughs> and let's peel this off. Oh, you know what? I don't. Dang it. Well, it's on the inside. I'll have to make sure that these two photo mats cover it. That one goes here. These two go here. No, they don't. Alright. I'm losing track of what I got. I knew I'd do that if I take everything out. This goes here, and this goes here, so I'll have to put something, a little embellishment in here to cover that up, but that, that'll be okay. So, and it'll, it'll catch, okay. So, for this top piece, I have this is going to go here, I think. No, that don't look right. I've got too many pieces going on. Let me see if it's this. Yeah, that's what I had. Okay, so let me get a piece of white cardstock so I can see my edges. And we'll glue this down. Okay. Get so many pieces cut at once and then I lose track of what went where. Easy enough to do, I tell you. So that is going to go right there. Is going to go at the bottom. Oops. And these were all just little sliver of scraps. I don't throw anything away until I know I absolutely have no earthly use for it. Because you just never know in a situation like this. You just might be able to use it. Oops, not completely straight, there we go. So 
that works for that one. Now for this flap, on the inside, I have a photo mat. scrap for here <clears throat> and you can always go back and add stickers and things and you know I shouldn't have said a while ago that this one didn't come with any embellishments it did come with um, two sticker sheets but as far as the front cover it wasn't what I was looking for or what I had in my mind that I wanted to do and that's why I said that okay now on the front, I just um, have one of the cut aparts, and it's not quite big enough to cover this flap, so I'm going to back it on some orange that I had in my stash, just to make it fit. instead of the front so I don't get any marks anytime I can I do that on the back especially with photographs because they'll mar up a little piece of glitter I had in my stash. I thought that would add a little sparkle to the front. And I just cut it to fit this spot here. Isn't that going to be cute on the front? Okay, now, for this part of the front, I have a photo mat. No, I don't. That ain't it. Let me think. what I did. <laughs> okay, so here we go with the scraps again. Did I? Didn't look like I inked that one. Let me grab my ink. I thought I had everything inked. Glue these down. Oops. 
it's easy to fit. Yeah, it's because it's got a black edge on it. It's black all the way up to the end here. It'd be better if it ended with the orange stripe so it stood out a little bit more, but it doesn't. It'd be okay. Now I'm going to put the orange, little tiny orange stripe in there. And I put the white down last because if I need to do any more trimming, it's easier to trim this larger piece than it is the smaller ones. So this is going to go right here. And that's just a little bit too long. Let me take a little snip off of that. still got enough glue on it. See, I did need to take a hair off of it. So, like I said, it's much easier to trim this one up than the others. And that'll be perfect. Okay, so that closes that way. Is that a pencil mark? Make sure that that's a blue side down. And like that. And that's how it looked like from the front. Isn't that cute? See, and it's all just scraps, guys. Let me keep this closed. We'll put these two down. We well, won't have so many pieces flying around. gives me a little bit more leeway to put this down because the score tape really grabs it quick. That looks nice and straight. I think that is. I can't turn it over because of the notch. So. gel pins what I'll do. There's that. And I'll find, let me see, I've got some little, there, 
we'll put that one in there. Put it right down the center. And that'll cover up the magnet. And as long as you only put glue down the center, then you can still slide a picture under it. There we go. That'll take care of that problem. And it looks cute. Now this one goes in here. But it has to be notched. Um, here we go. I don't normally um, eat the edges of the white cardstock. I just like it to be really crisp and clean. You know, if my page is really um, more of a grunge look, then that's a little bit different. You would want to do it, but for something like this, I probably would not. Just cut a small piece of orange. larger piece and I'm going to add two little photo mats to the back that are glued down. something for it? Yes, I did. Two little photo mats. Here's our first insert. Let's see how it works in the album. I think it's going to be awesome right here. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness. I like that. Okay. Now we'll make another one really really cute all right so the next one is going to be let me make sure I've got one ready that will fit in this other front pocket before I start chopping up papers oops yeah that one will go in there oh no it's too tall too tall that way as well it'll hit the fold see what else I got that one would go in there these are too big okay 
That's the only one I got cut out that'll fit in there as far as the dimensions. All right, so we'll make this one next. Got to have a game plan. Oops, I got a magnet stuck there, or a paper clip. All right. Let me cut out some pages for the, uh, some papers for the next one. And we'll go from there. Be right back. Alright guys, for the next one, this one is really, really simple. This is just pieces of scrap, and I did trim them down a little bit so that they would have half inch graduations, kind of like a little waterfall. And I'll give you the measurements of this one because it's not on your cut list, and the reason it isn't is because it'll probably never be exactly the same size again. Because, like I said, I always use scraps. The first piece is four and a quarter by five. Second piece is four and three quarters by five. Third one is five and a quarter by five. And the last one on the back is four. Is that right? It says four by five and a half. Let me measure it. No, that's five. It's four and a half by five. So all I have done is I am just going to put white mats on each one of these and I will add um, you know what I'm thinking um, I'm just going to put white mats on them because I made this little belly band is uh, it's one and a half inches by 12 and I haven't finished the inside yet, but I just put it in here, kind of centered it, and I gave myself some little pinch marks to see where I wanted to attach it. And that way it's plenty loose, so you'll have plenty of room to add photos without it getting too large, and it looks like it needs a little bit more glue right here. I didn't get the glue all the way up to the edge. Let me stick a little bit more glue up under there. And then you can take your little die cuts or stickers or whatever you've got and add some embellishments to the pages just to kind of dress it up a little bit. So here's the first photo mat. This is the best way I can think of to use up all your scraps. Super simple to make. And each one is just attached with a half inch score line. See this one was scored at a half and attached to that one. And this one is scored at a half and attached to that one. Until you just stair step them. there. But you know what I didn't do is cut mats for the back side of each one. But that's okay. I can go back and catch that. There's that one. Make sure I got right, the right fit on each one. Boy, we got a lot of thunder out there today. They said we're going to get some rain. And they meant it. And this will go on here. So let me open it out so I can see my edges. I'm going to trim it off just a hair. It looks like it's a little bit longer than the rest of them. Yeah, that would be better.
Okay, so that you can see where each one is stacked up after the next one. And that's what it looks like. And then we'll put it in the belly band. Be cute. Cute, cute, cute. And you can use stickers or any kind of embellishment to finish it off. I'll have to go back and make one, two, three, four. Four more photo mats for that. Okay, let me cut those. Be right back. Okay, here is the finished second one. I just thought I would share it with you. Um, the little belly band, of course, has a magnet, like I showed you. I just covered the inside with the solid um, orange. I had a little bat I cut out on my scan and cut. And this is a free image from, um, I don't know the name of the site, but I'll, I'll put a link in the description box for you. And then I just filled the inside with photo mats. You could actually journal right here. This one's from the sticker collection. I put a little strip of color down at the bottom. This one says, we'll do tricks for treats. You can journal right here and then stick your photo up under here. This one just has a little border trim on it. And then this one is plain. So it's just really, really easy to make. I hope you enjoy it. I will be adding this to the book. Let me grab the book. Make sure it fits for us. I say I'm going to add it. Put my lid back on my ink pad. Okay. Make the little belly band fit down in there. Hold on a minute. 